so I am about 20 minutes away from the gym and uh, looking forward to getting this arm day started. I've actually been finding myself enjoying doing some supersetting. I, or maybe not supersetting, maybe I guess sort of an extended high intensity form of arms. You know, when you combine, say, arms with your other major pull days, it sort of acts as a a way that you can hit more things more efficiently. You know, so I, I said before that like, you know, if I'm hitting a superset or something, and then if I up the intensity, you know, it's going to, over the course of seven days, give or take, I'm getting more sets in than someone who's doing low intensity, but doing more reps. So, it's just something that I think about while I'm, uh, you know, doing it. The, the final determining factor in if you're going to be getting gains, so to speak, it's going to be your intensity. It's going to be your training intensity. I see guys on social media, I mean, or just in, in general, doing some wacky shit, and it's like, you can be dialed in with your with your diet, but you're not going to be making the gains you would have been making had you up the intensity. People will be like, oh, I'm not gaining whatever, you know, assuming you're consuming the right amount of calories, if you're hitting your 4,000 calories a day, yes, you would be gaining weight at that at that rate if you're doing it consistent, consistently, but the training intensity, it's, it's the time under tension that's really gonna be sort of getting you to that next level. And it's like, if you're hitting the muscle, the same muscle twice a week, given that you're you know, spacing it out accordingly, <sighs> over time, you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna be growing the muscle. So it's like, I tend not to get too caught up in the uh, crazy high rep ranges. So <sighs> if you think about it, if you're trying to get 4,000 calories in a day and you wake up and you don't eat and then you uh, have something small around 11, but you're supposed to work out, before you know it, it's noon and you've had you know, no food. And now you still have to hit the 4,000 calories. So now you're on track to, you're going to have to eat as though you were eating 8,000 calories a day, which is just not, it's just not possible. You know, it's, it's, it'll be late at night and you're sitting there like after your workout, trying to figure out how you can get down 3,000 calories. It's just not uh, realistic. This is why I go at late, later at night. It's, I guess you could call it a preference wanting to work out more late at night, but I just find that I get more carbs in my system. I, I just feel more energized when I'm working out. So I'm gonna start off light, just to kind of get everything warmed up. Chest is one of the things where you wanna make sure you're warming it up. If you're doing back or something, your warm up for back is just the same back workout, just a little bit lighter. I did some sort of uh, front delt stuff before this, but throw this up there. That's normal my my uh, warm up set. Okay. So I I like to do um like I said high intensity sort of a lat movement here and I and I always uh, focus on less about the grip and I, I care more about really contracting sort of my my right my lat. I want to just focus on contracting that, not gripping as much. <sighs> Yeah, and I like to always go to failure. I feel like it gives me more of a uh, more of a burn when you're contracting your uh, turtle shell. It's always good when you uh, are engaging your core too. But I don't I don't squeeze too tight because then you know you make your waist not as thin. So. Come on. 
So on this one, I'm gonna try to really go heavy on this one. Let me go a little heavier. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. I'm shooting for more of a, a higher rep range. I never wanted the lifts to be too predictable for my muscles. I've said it in the past, like, you know, I don't care for all the fancy equipment. Like, just stick to your, your main lifts, stick to your main equipment, and just get a good lift in. Five, six, Hey man, I got your stuff for you. So here's the oh, two. Thank you. That's what you're gonna put in the needles. And then um, take these after your workout or you take it before you might have like a caffeine sensitivity reaction to it. Perfect. This is the natural inseam. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You don't wanna like mix that with the magnesium pills. I mean, you wanna take two of those prior to eating. Uh, it'll just, it'll be, have some bad side effects. Okay. So just be careful. Okay. Oh, and you, you said, this yeah, you, you said you wanted extra, yeah. right? And one, two, three, four, five, six, two more, two, two seven. There you yep. go. That's it. Are you doing cash or car? Oh, yeah, just cash is up. Yeah, one, two, three, four bags. Okay. 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 So you just don't mix those two. Got gotcha. you. It's this one before this one. Two of those before. Two of those. And then that's after the workout. Okay. 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 Excuse me, excuse me. Could you, could you stop? Could you uh, get the fuck up? What? Would you mind getting the fuck up? I have to work here. I'm filming a video for my channel. Sam Sulek. Yeah. If you don't mind, thank you. Go ahead and scram for me, thank you. Nah, I hate when people are on my fucking machines. So I'm gonna do what she wasn't doing, which was heavier weight. And sometimes I do impromptu things. You know, occasionally I'll change it up a little bit just so I can get a good, you know, sort of full range of motion. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, three. <sighs> Dude, cut, dude, cut, cut. Did you cut? Did you cut, dude? Dude, cut. Dude, cut. Are you dumb, bro? Stop recording. What is that? What is what? What's inside the bag? What's Nothing, it's Tylenol. I get migraines. It's Tylenol. Are you filming? Yeah, I thought you said to start. Dude, stop, don't. But why do you have all those bags anyways? This is my anxiety medication. That's a lot of pills. Yes, I have a lot of anxiety. Yo, why is there like a Russian label on this? Ah, ah. Oh, crab. Eat it. I have a special type of anxiety. They only give medicine from Russia. Okay, so got a pretty good pump. Let's see how we're looking today. Oh. 
yeah, it's a pretty good pump if I do say so myself. You know, when you train the upper pec, it really gives you that sort of that shelf like that I'm working on building. So I think I'm making pretty good progress. Uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah, dude, come on, really? In the damn locker room? So now for the last meal of the day. Me personally, I like to uh, make sure I know exactly how many grams of carbs I'm getting. It's calories in, calories out at the end of the day. People try to complicate it, but it's only as complicated as you make it. So I had the McDonald's for lunch, just to hit the extra calories that I've been wanting. But, so this has 140 grams of carbs, which would mean I would hit my goal for the day. And I'm probably gonna have maybe one more meal before I go to sleep. Whenever I'm full and like I got a lot of carbs in my system, I just feel better. I have more energy. I feel stronger. But I have nothing against working out in the morning, but I feel like when you've got enough carbs and your stuff in your system before the workout, I find that just it helps me feel better during the lift. The pumps is that much better. As far as sleep goes, I try to hit the same time every night. It's probably around 10.30. It's probably about 800 calories here. 